Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing something a bit different to what I usually do. I'm going to be doing a full face using only paint brushes. Now, I'm so excited to do this video because I have been wanting to do this video for the longest time. And when I mean the longest time, I mean... I think about a year. I really wanted to film this challenge about a year ago before the whole full face kind of trend went around. Now everyone's doing like full face using hi only highlighter, full face using only kids makeup, and I just really wanted to give this challenge a try. I've never seen anyone do this video, so I'm not trying to copy anyone. I don't have anyone to credit because I just thought of this. I've been really wanting to do this for such a long time. I was going to do it about two months ago when everyone was doing like the highlighter one. But I was like, oh no, I've always kind of been a bit iffy on doing it. But today I decided to do it. So yes, since I'm definitely not trying to copy anyone, I thought of this idea quite a while back. So yes, we're just going to get started in the video. So I bought some paint brushes here. This is what they look like. I bought this set. It's a Montmartre gallery brush set for watercolors. It was $7.50, came with five brushes. This like cheap $2 set and two foam rollers. So I'm gonna start. Hopefully this is this works out. So I'm going to be doing a more of a natural look. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is applying my primer. This is the May no the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Primer. I apply this with my fingers, so that's what I'm gonna be doing now. And yeah, I don't particularly like this primer. I'm just trying to use it up. And I don't know if you can tell, but my neck and my body is a completely different colour to my face. So, I need to try and match it because I look like a pasty ghost and my body is nice and golden bronzy. So, I usually apply these two. I mix them together. They are the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream and the Rimmel BB Cream in the radiance one in medium I mix them together but I think I'm just gonna put the medium on because it's quite a drastic difference and I'm gonna be using this foam roller I couldn't find any of the foam brushes so I had to um stick with this roller this is gonna be interesting oh my gosh okay I don't know if I should just like hold it and dab it okay I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take the baby cream in medium put that on my hand oh Oh, oh, and I think I'm just gonna dot it all over my face. Okay, that's not too much, but we're just gonna give this a shot. I probably should zoom you guys in a little bit. I'll do that. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. This is so strange. Okay, I'm gonna put my finger like this, just. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is applying so weirdly. Oh, I need my beauty blender. Where's my beauty blender at? Like, honestly, this is so weird. Oh my gosh, okay. My skin, my I should just like roll it a little. I'm just gonna blend it because my skin, the texture of my skin right now is like bumpy and strange. Let's just roll it into my skin. Uh, this is insane. Okay. Um, we're just gonna have to go with it. Okay, next thing. Maybelline Fibby Conceal in the shade Sand, and I'm gonna pop this. That is my dad screaming because the AFL Grand Final is on. Okay. Alrighty, I think we're just gonna have to go back in with this handy dandy thing. not too bad I just don't know how I'm gonna like get under my eyes okay so with a lot of difficulty and rolling I've completed my face okay I shouldn't be touching in my hands okay we're gonna go into powder now and I'm a bit nervous for this because 
I don't know what to apply with, okay? So what if I like apply with the bra like with this like No, okay. This brush, okay. This is a small brush I was gonna use for highlighter. I'm just gonna have to do this to my whole entire face. This is going to take a a long time, okay. This is turning out to be a lot harder than I expected because when I went to all the two dollar shops, which is like a two dollar shop here, is like what is it called there? Like the dollar store. It's like a dollar store in America. The brushes were like quite expensive, like not that expensive, but because I'm never gonna really use them again unless I like wash them all and then decide I'm gonna become a painter. But yeah, they were all kind of like nine dollars, like a set of four, and I really wanted to get this set that had a fan brush in it, which was perfect for highlighting. But it was nine dollars, and I would only use the fan brush. Like the other brushes were like tiny, little, crappy little liner brushes, but I don't want to apply eyeliner. So yeah, turning out a bit better than I thought. Let's just. Make sure to get the T-zone. This video is going to be so long, I'm assuming. So this brush did a decent job. It's kind of just like a really fluffy one. The actual brush is actually kind of pretty, so yeah. I'm now going to move on to eyebrows. So I'm going to be using this tiny little brush with my eyebrow powder. Okay. This is going to be good. Like, this is going to be good. Let's see how this goes. Okay. A mistake there. Oops, okay, let's just like blend that out a bit. It's doing an alright job. I expected it to do worse. Let's do that. Um, they definitely don't look perfect. There's like this line above my head. Oh, did I just like brush it off? No. Okay, one brow done. Next one. This brush is doing an alright job, actually. It's like a flat kind of liner brush. Okay, let's just define the front of my brows are done. All right, next we're going to go on to contour. This is just like kind of a weird way I do it. So for contour slash bronze, I was hoping to use this little foam roller, and it's like kind of like this. So I thought maybe like. Don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Okay, NYC. Let's just hold you like this. Oh my gosh, what is What is happening? Oh, oh my gosh, okay. Um I don't know how I'm gonna blend this. Okay, let's just. Oh. Uh. What is happening? Okay, no, this is not a good idea. Let's just take this fat kind of brush and let's just like blend. Okay, I need to fix this. Okay, so I'm just kind of blending it out with my um, makeshift beauty blender, but it's doing alright. I think I'm just going to move on to eyeshadow now. Okay, I'm using the Stay Night Stray Primer on my fingers to blend that out, I think. Because I usually use a brush. You know what? Let's just, let's just grab a paintbrush to blend it out. Yeah? Don't! I don't even know what that was. Okay. Okay, I feel like I have to go and watch this. Okay. Um... I'll be back. The grand final is just about to finish. I'm with the Bulldogs win. So I'm going to go back out there. I will see you guys in seven minutes. Alrighty, yo. The doggies just won the grand final. Go, dogs. So now I can continue my makeup. Moving on to your eyes now. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And for my transition shade, I always start in the crease. I'm going to be taking this huge brush and I'm going to be taking the color. I have this thing right here. So it's a caramel and milk chocolate. I probably should know the names of those as I use them like every day. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Um, that is something different. It doesn't. It's. It's all right. Like I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm not hating on it. Um, I've definitely seen worse. I think I need a bit more of a darker bit in the outer V. Um, yeah, that, that works. I like it. I'm going to take the same shades again. And I'm just going to kind of bring it above the crease a little. There you go. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I'm going to take this brush, I don't know what it's called, and I'm going to take Marzipan, which is this lovely sparkly colour. I'm going to put that all over my lids. Oh, this brush is way too big. Okay, um, that's right. Straight over the lids, like that. It kind of be a two-in-one tutorial using paintbrushes, and it can be a nice natural look. I'm just going to put that in the out of V again and I think that looks right okay cool I'm gonna take this little brush and highlight with this color what's it called again it's like one of the um, white chocolate of course white chocolate I'm just gonna take that under my eyebrows this brush actually like is crap oh did you see that okay we have the eyes that are done. For mascara, I'm just going to be using the good old Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. This is my favourite mascara. And I can't really apply this with anything but the brush. So I'm just going to apply it. And I'm skipping the whole eyeliner step because I cannot do eyeliner, okay? I can do a nice thin little line, but as soon as I go into wing territory, I look like a... I just look stupid. This is the waterproof one and I like the normal formula better, but I don't know where my normal one is, so I'm just going to be using this. The eyelashes on this eye always clump and I always have to get like really low and do it. I'm going to be on my favourite step, highlighting. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Gleam and this stuff is amazing. Love these four shades. I'm going to be taking this brush I use for powder and Starburst and Crushed Pearl and I'm going to be mixing those up together to give an intense highlight. Ready? I don't know what to Oh, yes! Okay. Mm-hmm. This is what I like to see. A lovely that that glow is so intense on camera like it's not that intense in real life oh my gosh that glow is so intense okay this side now oh oh this oh highlight loving it and it doesn't look bad at all either I'm just gonna take the leftover Oh, down my nose, like this. Nice little glow. Oh, a bit too much of a glow. And then above my lip. Like that. No, there you go. Way too much. Okay, um, I'll blend that out with my handy dandy contour beauty blender. There we go. I actually forgot a very important step. I forgot to add a bit of blush. So I'm just going to apply a bit of blush on my cheeks. This is the MAC Fuller Power Blush. And I'm just going to be like, do this. I think that looks alright. I really did not use a mirror then. I just used a viewfinder. I'm going to be taking my all-time favourite gloss. This is the Literally Gloss by Kylie Cosmetics. Actually, no, it's not my all-time favourite. So Cute is my all-time favourite, but I lost it. And because I'm dedicated to this challenge, I'm going to be taking a lip brush. No, <laughs> this isn't a lip brush. This is a paintbrush, and I'm just going to, like, steal the product off the applicator. 
Okay. If you'd like a tutorial using this Tartlet in Bloom Tartlet in Bloom palette, please let me know down below because I'd love to do one. Okay. Oh, oh. Like that. And do it in. There you go. Didn't turn out too bad. I expected it to be worse. This makeup is actually all right. Like, I am not hating on it at all. I kind of, I'm just hating on like the crabby contour. But other than that, I think I did a quite a good job. So this is the look that we have achieved using just paint brushes. I am quite decently surprised and happy with this. The highlight is popping. Loving it. The face doesn't look too bad. The makeshift beauty blender worked a little bit. But I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder, sorry, just like looking at it. But yeah, the eyeshadow worked quite well. I really like this. And the eyebrows, was, I, I actually kind of like this makeup. Not that I'm going to be changing all of my brushes, my Sigma brushes and my Real Estate A brushes and my 6 Plus brushes to paint brushes. But I'm quite surprised and happy with how this turned out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this different kind of video. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you do try out this challenge. And I'll be sure to check out all of your videos. So yes, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you did. And subscribe if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload new videos on my channel. That is it for today's video. And I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next one. Bye guys. Love you. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da